Welcome to Quick Gimp Tips. This is episode 3. This podcast is brought to you by Pride and Work. Visit us at prideandwork.com and our blog at prideandwork.us. Please leave any comments about this podcast at prideandwork.us. Thank you. In today's tip, we're going to be taking this 2D image and giving it a little 3D effect. Uh, the end effect will look something like the dog is stepping out of an, a photograph. And um, to get started, what we're going to do is create a new layer just above the uh, background. And in that layer, we're going to draw a photo frame. So let's uh, get started by pressing on the new layer icon right here and that'll open up this little dialog here. Make sure it's a transparent layer because we want to draw on it. Click OK in that dialog and select your rectangle selection tool. Let's draw the frame around the dog and uh, if, if you need to adjust the frame the selection actually has these little handles here and you can kind of drag it around and make sure that uh, it's right where you want it. So let's fill that with uh, white and it doesn't look like a photo frame so let's knock out the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the selection so you can do that by either coming up here and, you, and modifying it in, in the uh, drop down or you can actually right click in the selection go over to select and from the drop down we'll actually get the same drop down here select shrink and let's shrink that by 25 pixels and hit the delete key on your keyboard and that'll knock out that center part of the image. So the second step of this uh, tutorial would be to change the perspective of this photo frame and we're going to do that by using this tool right here, the perspective tool. So let's deselect the uh, empty selection by coming up to the select drop down and clicking none and um, let's select the rectangle marquee tool again because what I want to do is just get a little selection around that frame. You don't have to do that, that's purely optional. I click on the perspective tool and then click in your selection and you'll notice these little handles right here and you can actually just drag down your photo frame make it look like it's laying down flat. Let's stretch out these edges to make them look like they're coming towards us. Let's push that down just a little bit more. And when you're satisfied that uh, your frame is looking like it should, click on the transform button and um, Here's your, uh, your photo frame. Now if you get this floating section, what you want to do is right click in it and click on the anchor layer and what that does is kind of merges these two together and um, you can go on to the third step. So what we're going to be doing here is just removing the background from the, uh, from the dog. So let's make sure that we've selected the background layer and we're going to add a little layer mask here so we don't actually delete anything from the actual image itself so right click on the on the layer go down to add layer mask make sure that it's white which is the full opacity anything that's white will uh, will show will show the image and any black that you paint onto that will actually delete the pixels in that image so, I'll sh so let's click add select the layer mask come over to your paint tool and flip that around if it make sure that it's black and uh, start painting away and you'll notice that all the image all the pixels are going away and it's looking transparent behind there and obviously you can change your brush size in this little toolbar of toolbar here and uh, it'll speed up your uh, whole process over here and um, don't worry about it if you take away a little bit of the dog or a little bit of your image you can always just 
flip these around and uh, paint it back in. That's the beauty of uh, of layer masks. You're actually not doing anything destructive to the image itself. You're just working with uh, with a mask. And um, to speed this along, I'm going to actually show you one that I've already knocked out the background from, and we'll move on to step four. So over here, you can see that uh, I've removed all the background and. Uh, it's it's uh it's now it's transparent behind there and um the uh next step is to actually just remove this little white bar here so it kind of com completes the illusion that the dog is poking its head out of the uh photograph and uh this is pretty easy just select the uh frame layer and drop its opacity down so you can kind of see where the dog dog uh, is and the uh in relation to the frame and uh, go over to your eraser and just carefully erase parts of the frame that you don't need I'm just going to increase that brush size to make speed this up a little bit and we'll push the uh, opacity back up on the frame and um, there you have it, the dog is po poking its head out, out, the, uh, out the frame. Now you can drop in any background behind there to kind of uh, add a little bit more realism to your effect and I'll show you what I mean. So we won't bother to save that and I'll bring up this image. Here you go. This is uh, the finished uh, result.